Hello everyone. I am Dr. Praveen Kumar, Associate Professor and HOD Audiology at All India Institute of Speech and Hearing, Mansa Gangotri, Mysuru, Karnataka. Today I am going to talk about listening difficulties among school going children. One of the reasons could be due to processing deficit, that is, central auditory processing disorders, CAPD. In other words, these children do have normal hearing sensitivity but they report difficulty in comprehending the speech signals in adverse listening situations such as in presence of noise. Theoretically, CAPD is defined as a deficit in perceptual processing of auditory stimuli at higher centers. The prevalence of CAPD in children is about 2 to 5 percent globally. The most common symptoms of CAPD in children are Difficulty understanding speech in presence of background noise. Difficulty learning through the auditory mode. The follow difficulty in following instruction. They have poor listening skills. They do not participate in classroom discussions. They are also having poor reading, writing and spelling abilities. These symptoms uh, may be present either alone or combinations of more than one symptoms in CAPD children. Please remember the above symptoms about the child from the parents or teachers doesn't always mean presence of CAPD only. These complaints you may notice even in other communication disorders such as hearing impairments, specific language impairment, learning disabilities and dyslexia. And hence, differential diagnosis is important to rule out other conditions. To understand whether a child, whether a child is having central, whether the child is having central auditory processing uh, or other comorbid conditions, they have to undergo audiological test battery along with other tests such as language test cognition test, attention test, and reading skill test. Suppose any parents or teachers suspect that their child is not performing well in school, that is, poor academic performance in school, such problems reported by child or teacher needs to be taken seriously and must seek professional help. To do this, this need to, they need to consult audiologist or speech language pathologist along with other team members such as ENT, clinical psychologist, special educators, social workers and parents. A detailed case history followed by otoscopic and physical examination of different parts of ear by ENTs should be done. Once physical examination of ear is done, Audiologist will perform basic audiological tests such as pure tone audiometry, speech audiometry to find out degree and type of hearing loss. Sometimes in addition to these two basic evaluation, evaluations, transient evoked acoustic emissions and quick evoked ABR is done to rule out the functioning of outer hair cells and auditory nerve. Altogether, it helps us to identify presence or absence of peripheral hearing loss. If they don't have any peripheral hearing loss, they need to be evaluated for language abilities, cognitions and reading skills. Once these tests ascertain normal findings, they should be enrolled for CAPD screening tests such as SCAP and STAP screening checklist for auditory processing and screening test for auditory processing. If child couldn't get past the score in these screening CAPD tests, he or she will be asked to go for detailed diagnostic CAPD test. Among CAPD diagnostic tests, most of the studies recommended both speech and non-speech based tests such as gap detection test, pitch pattern test, dichotic listening test and the speech in noise test to identify if child is having CAPD in one domain or many. Once the CAPD test identifies 
the RDT processing deficit, if any, they have to enroll for the management of deficit specific intervention depending upon the areas affected. Along with direct intervention, other strategies such as environmental modifications, classroom based strategies and compensatory strategies also help these children to improve their performance. In addition, there are some of the computer based auditory training software such as Brain Train, Aerobics, Lace and Fast Forward which also reported to help these children in improving the performance. To summarize, the different steps involved in assessment and management of CAPDs are Step 1. Rule out peripheral auditory involvement. Step 2. Rule out attention, memory and IQ related disorders which are comorb uh, comorbid conditions. Step 3. Rule out a language disorders. Step 4. Perform diagnostic audiological tests. Step 5. Management of APD including strategies to improve the listening environment and compensate for deficit such as modifications of environment, classroom based strategies or compensatory strategies. Please consult audiologists and speech language pathologists for detailed assessment and management of CAPD and other comorbid conditions if you have difficulties as discussed in this particular videos. For further details, you can visit our institute website www.ishmyshow.in Thank you for watching this video. Stay safe. I hope this video is going to help you if you come across with any child who is having poor academic performance in school setup.